my podcast I've been doing this for wow maybe two years now I believe maybe two years year, I know it's over a year I'm just gonna tell you that it's over a year um and this is podcast called winning umbrella brand it just talks about the mindset that gets me forward to push me for you know to do what I need to do so to get this business forward, to push my life forward, because if your personal messed up, it will trickle down for your business. So you got to get some type of mental push there. So that's what I have been doing. And I want to give a visual podcast because it's been a long time. I think I did one visual podcast, but I, I think I uploaded it and deleted it. And usually you can hear it on any podcast driven platform that has podcast closing up my stuff so let's get started i hope you like it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to just go to the podcast if you want to see it i don't know if this is reoccurring we'll see but if you want to hear it go to your favorite streaming podcast streaming platforms and you'll like it okay because you know it's the weenie umbrella whatever you know And usually, I don't got none. I have like a, a force to keep me. I'm, you'll, you'll hear it in the podcast. Hey there, creative crew. Welcome or welcome back to my podcast. My name is Vanessa with the Weenie Umbrella brand, the Weenie Umbrella publishing, the Weenie Umbrella whatever. And this is a special podcast because I am recording. Like, no lie. I got the phone. You know I'm recording off the phone, y'all. If y'all already know. You triple OG, you already know. I'm recording off the phone so that I can get some content because content is key in growing your business. So this is a visual part and then I got the, um, y'all can hear it here. Y'all can see it on YouTube. And I'll probably try to cut it up and do some reels. Maybe not, but... Content is content to me right now. So, once again, welcome or welcome back. Um, if you're new here, my name is Vanessa. I'm the president, CEO, janitor, content creator, procrastinator, author, everything under the sun of the Weenie Umbrella brand, Weenie Umbrella Publishing. And I, on this podcast, I give my mindset and the tips that and give you tips that I that helped me or did not help me push me forward to get my business off the ground in a sense of not saying we made it but it's like hey this helped here in this little area here if it might help you it might not so that's mostly you know what this podcast is about and I also go through the uh, trials and tribulations but like, ah, I said all that to say it's been about two weeks since I did a podcast. I'm going to catch you guys up. So I I think, I don't know, today is Black Friday. But let me shout out to this. People have been coming to my bid, my website, theweenieumbrellapublishing.com. And they've been coming there like Thursday, Wednesday, Monday. And I didn't have anything, I had advertised for Black Friday, but I didn't have anything on my website, which I fell, I knew it, and I fell, fell off with that part that said anything about Black Friday. P 
people have not touched that website on Black Friday. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. No one touched that website on Black Friday. But they kept coming before. Now, that's my bad. And I will know for next year to have that. And I fell short of that because I was doing other stuff. But mentally, I thought about that. And then I just brushed it under the rug because I'm, you know, self-doubt, self-love. I was just going through some stuff. So, um, me not having anything. Like, I had made an advertisement magazine um, catalog for Black Friday. People liked it, looked at it, and that's what brought them over there. But me not showing anything on my website really stopped the traffic right there. I am my own blocker, and I need to come out of that because I should have followed that through as a customer. Like, okay, I see something online that what caught my attention. I made a cute catalog. It was a pop-up um, catalog. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to insert a little mini clip of it, of the cute catalog where you can, it was a carousel and a video. So if you want to do the carousel, you can swipe the little magazine carousel. If you wanted to do like, just watch the video, it did the, you know, automatic. And you saw that, went to the website and the website shows nothing that pertains to Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Yeah. So Thursday, Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, I went on my website and I added the Cyber Monday, the Black Friday uh, GIFs. No, today is Saturday. I'm sorry. Today is November the 25th. It's the day after. So today's Saturday. The day, day, day after. I'm sorry. Um... So I put the Black Friday and all that stuff on there. And it's still on there now. I'm going to take it off Monday night around like 11 o'clock. I'm going to take it off because I did give a lot of gifts. You know, if you're the first 16 people, you get a free gift. Because I have some old merch that I want to give out. Uh, well, it's not old, but, you know, merch and stuff that I haven't been able to get out. So I wanted to get that out and stuff like that. But um, all that is up there now. But if it was up there when I was getting heavy traffic, it would have been a different story and probably a couple sales. So I just wanted to um, showcase, no, take accountability of my bad, you guys. And really, I don't know, I came to the realization, like, for me to show up for my business, I have to show up as a customer as well. That sounds crazy. But as a customer, how did you, how would I view your business how would I find your business and from how would I find your business how would I be persuaded to buy so I was on Instagram now before I talked about the Instagram thing I have been MIA for my business I have it's not like I I have not been posting as regularly I have not been doing my podcast I definitely have not wrote that next book that I've been working on that's already done that needs to be written I haven't did that because I was focused on other stuff that really shouldn't have my attention you know about like just just petty stuff that I got out of that to focus on my business being a one person business does take a toll on you when you're dealing with so much other stuff so I am redoing my movie. I'm being transparent right here. I'm redoing my movie and I forgot because once I did my movie, once I did everything for that mini movie of the Easier Mind Journal series, Everyday Life Struggles, The Basics, my first journal book, you can go get that. It's a self-help book and it will help you, baby, because it keeps helping me. Um, I did a mini, for chapter one, I did a mini short film. So each chapter is I want to do a short film. So once I completed that short film, it took me four months. Everything that needed to be done, the captions and stuff like that, I was done. Having to go back and redo that stuff, I forgot how much money it takes. Because you got to pay for captions. You do it the right way, you got to pay for that stuff. Captions, um, the edit, all that stuff. And even shooting that and getting my cast back together. My main character is pregnant now. 
come on now because i have to really film this before it shows because it wasn't showing because she wasn't pregnant when she filmed it now she's pregnant <laughs> shout out to you girl but um it's different now so i have to write a new scene from the scene that i have to take out and that takes a lot it does so i think i became overwhelmed with personal problems having to redo my film that was done then having to come up with different things all of that and then having to um build it build it back up sorry if you heard that build myself back up i mean transparent so for me to do all that i'm proud of myself so I, and I always say, once I slack off, I don't slack off a couple weeks, but once that second week or so, once I slack off, where do I start? And that's my podcast. I started my podcast to let you know what's going on and let you know how I'm going to move forward. So I was going through all that. And to move forward, I was, I'm, I'm starting to call it research. Because when you gain ideas and where you gain, they say, gems and uh, information and stuff, you know, and use it, that's what helps you. So I was on Instagram. Back to the Instagram. I was on Instagram because I was just scrolling. Like, I didn't put up any posts for my business. But the same thing of me not posting for my business, the same thing for me not fixing my mini film quicker than what I needed to do, um, I have been creating. I have been writing down ideas of my next commercial. I have been writing down ideas for my um vlogmas. I have been getting ideas and how I need to film this and how I need to film that. So it's just like I haven't let my business go down. I just haven't touched the social media side. I had to break that down to myself to make sure because you if you're really going through things or if you're really um, mentally don't know what to do next. Just, um, hold on, y'all. My little screen went out. I'll make sure I'm still recording. Just break down, like, break it down in steps, and I have to do that a lot. So, uh, I broke it down in steps, and what was I saying? Dang, I was messing with that thing. I forgot what I was saying. Because I'm talking off, like, freely talking how I talk. So, I broke it down in steps and I forgot honestly. But I'm saying I'm gonna say if you got what I'm saying, you got what I'm saying. Cause I promise you I forgot and I don't have any paper or anything right here with me. But if you're doing all this, you need to break stuff down in steps so that you can get back on track. And my I don't know if you can see this, but my calendar, my notes, all that stuff helped me get back on track. So I've been creating what to do next and still have stuff I need to do now because I do stuff monthly. Monthly, we need to have this out, the deadline, the goals. And if I just say it trickles down, forget it, it trickles down. So I have really been researching on Instagram, getting that business motivation, getting that mindset motivation. And I came across a podcast. And I was like, okay, I've been on two and a half years, not a half yet, but two years and some months in um, business. I have not seen that breakthrough yet. I need to revamp, not the logo, not the um, products. Well, you know, I'm, I'm still making books and stuff. Still making books when I finish writing it. You know what I'm saying? But um, what I saw on Instagram, she said, and I said, I need to revamp my strategy on how I connect with um, people, how I connect with um, on social media and stuff. Because if you look at all my old stuff, it's animation, cartoons, like the little gifs and stuff, how I push that out. I felt comfortable with that stuff. I'd rather been a faceless um, business. I'd rather you saw my product and saw the what my product can do versus the person behind it. But in this day and age, 
they want to see it all before they buy from you. You see what I'm saying? Before they trust the product, before they do it, they want to see everything about you. And I'm still not going to show that, but I'm going to show the business side as much as I can, but not everything. You see what I'm saying? But, um, and that's where the visual podcast came from. Because I can be sitting right here in my PJs. I was already dressed before I wiped this, like, before I just got comfortable. I said, let me film and then I wash, you know, wash my face and stuff like that. I already washed my face. I got makeup on. You know what I'm saying? You see the eyeliner. <laughs> but um, I'm saying all that to say, well, I'm saying all that to say, if you're dressed up, hurry up and do a quick content before you take it off just so you can get some content. But I was changing the strategy on how I did business. Like, you, you're still going to go through stuff. Life is life. Life goes through ups and downs. But, and I can only tell y'all from my experience. That's why this is the mindset behind it. So, she said that, I think it was the Red Bull. It was a girl talking about Red Bull. This is not sponsored. Just want to say. She was saying that on Red Bull's Instagram, you see, you don't see them advertising Red Bull. You see them advertising experiences and energy and stuff like that. You have to strategize, make people want to um, want the experience of your product. If you do lashes, you do nails, it's the experience of looking good, feeling good, and tap, 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 tap. You know, I ain't got no, no I just took my nails off. So I can't do it. Oh, I should have did it. Kept my nails on so I can do it. But I didn't think about this. This is off the dome. So uh, with me, it's books. Like, that's that's a creeper. Um, being an author is a whole lot different. Because you got to sell a book to somebody. And nowadays, most people, not all people, are visual. Show You know, they want something. It, it, it's different. So <laughs> how do I get you to read? How do I get you to enjoy this product? Like, enjoy this book. How do I get you to work on yourself with this journal so that you can be happier and heal your inner self? Or at least try your best to move forward for a better day for yourself and your family. How do I get you to do that? How do I sell that experience? And then you don't want to be sold to. You want to, like, hey, I want to go through that. I want to enjoy that. Or I need that help in that area. So, I forgot I was filming. By needing that help in that area, how do I, as an author, but also as a publisher, because y'all, I have to learn how to be a publisher, but I think I'm doing good, because I sold a few books um, since I started. So, from someone who didn't go to school for this, I ain't that new to this. <laughs> but, um... For me to say all that to say, like, um, the strategy is going to be more visual. So I would have, to, I'm saying all that to say, I would have to show myself because I can't pay for cash all the time. I'm a small business. I'm just going to say it like that. Take it how you want to. You need to keep some of that money. So and do something else with it. You know, marketing is a big thing, but if you can, like, take the videos yourself, if you can do the stuff yourself, then that saves you time, that saves you money, and you can get the, get most of the correct directions you need because you know what you're looking for. I'm sorry if y'all heard that. You know what you're looking for. And that means I have to be in front of the camera. And that's the comfort zone that I... Sometimes I want to do. Like, I'd rather shoot someone else. Shoot. Film someone else. Take the shoot out because you know how to be. Film someone else or direct them to do this for me or something like that. But I don't want to pay nobody. Not right now. I got, I'm trying to build something. So, I need my finances in order. So, um, that's why I'm on camera. To get the content before I relax into other stuff. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm back. I'm back at work. I'm back at work and I miss doing this. I do want to say that. So if you haven't, I hope you got what I've been saying about 
And it kind of is like a story. Going through what you're going through, filling yourself up. Scrolling on social media doesn't have to be a bad thing when you're down or when you're just in solitude for a while. Because if you're scrolling on negative stuff, I'm sorry, it's going to stay there. But if you're scrolling on things to motivate you, inspire you, or even in your own, um, as a small business owner, if you scroll in other small business owner stuff, like similar to motivate you and people trying to give lessons and stuff, you're pouring into yourself. I poured into myself enough that I'm back and I'm happy about it. That's, that's what it is. So usually I do my fours. So, um... Well, I state four things about, you know, what I've learned that week, my word of the week and why, stuff like that. This one was about, I'm back. And I will give these last couple of weeks what my word of the week, what words with an S of the week is. And is I've been pouring into myself, pouring into my business mind, because I can have a business, but... If I don't research and learn and how to grow and this social media is changing like every second. So I have to learn something. So the strategy and I've been changing the strategy. Like even though I haven't been posting my mindset, the strategy, them journals, baby. It's a lot. Sometimes I don't even pick up a journal because there's so much stuff I put in there that I just take something out when I need it and roll with it you see what I'm saying so I've been pouring into myself and you have to pour positivity now if I was sad and down now I could listen to nothing but sad and down and out and sad and down and out somebody going through the same sinister situations or something like that but that won't get me nowhere pouring that knowledge researching that woke me up like hey give someone the experience of reading a book Give someone experience of my book. That just dives more into creativity of what I can do and what I can show you. Because all I talk about, what is what is my slogan? Um, It's on my Instagram. Let us expand your imagination to soar higher, to reach higher heights or something like that. I don't say it too much, um, but it's on there. And it's on my website, I think, too. Because I just want to expand your imagination. Really, that, that part is the main part. But I just want to expand your imagination. Um, I haven't reached fantasy writing yet. But um, what I'm writing, what I've written, I'm going to say it like that because a lot of stuff has been written. I already wrote it. I just need to publish it. Written, what I've written is just expand your imagination. And also self-help from my experience. You know, this next book is more about, it's funny, it's more realistic. It's a non-fiction, it's a urban fiction. At that, yeah. I think y'all like that one. Okay, let me stop talking about it. But I'm just saying, okay, pour into myself is the words that I would give myself these last couple weeks. Um, the lessons I've learned is, even though I'm strategizing behind the scenes, I'm still running a business. So I need to be at least every other day putting something on social media if I don't feel up to it being a one-person business. Um, that's the lessons I've learned. What else was the other one? Who am I sticky notes? I got some sticky notes. And they fell back there behind the thing. I ain't gonna bend over and get it though. I ain't gonna get it. Because I have like a sticky note of my fours of what I've talked about to keep myself on track. Because it's a category. I talk, say, you know, it's a category and then I'll speak, speak like that. So, you guys I ain't gonna hold you long. Because I'm hungry. And I'm gonna get something to eat. So, I found some vegan sandwiches or something. I ain't gonna hold you. So, once again, I hope you get what I'm saying. I think that's going to be a slogan because I be saying that all the time. I hope y'all get what I'm saying because this is my mindset going forward. And I hope it wasn't talking so fast, but I was talking off straight off the dome. You know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all listening. And once again, be safe. 
wherever, however, whenever you listen to this. Thank you so much. And let's get creative, you guys.